we're going to look at attribute tables and selecting by expression using QGIS 3. I have some data open on my in QGIS in my project. The gray in this case are city council districts and the purple points are motor vehicle collisions in New York City. So um, what's part of what's exciting about GIS data and vector files in particular is that you don't just have the shapes that are visible on the map, but you also have a bunch of data behind the shapes. And you can get to that by going to open attribute table on the layer. That's a right click open attribute table. And you'll see um, columns and rows. The columns are attributes and the rows are features. So each one of these rows is associated with a feature on the map. So these attributes can be used for all kinds of things in a GIS. You could style based on the attribute, but for now, I just want to show how to do some selections based on the attributes. So um, actually, I want to keep the attribute table open. And in the attribute table, in the toolbar, there you should be able to find a button that looks like a small E with a yellow box that's select features using an expression. And I'll open that up. And the way this dialog works is you want to write an expression on the left here that specifies which features you want to see selected on the map. Uh, so one thing I'll notice is there are a bunch uh, of features with no burrow set for some reason. And you'll see that some of these just don't have uh, much data at all to go on. They don't have latitude and longitude. Some of them do. So the first thing I want to do is select um, features where the burrow is empty. And you could just in here start typing an expression if you knew how to type one. But I'll use this middle area to help me type one. Um, and it's useful using this middle area because sometimes you mistype things. So this is a good way to make sure you don't do that. Under fields and values, you'll find all of the fields that this layer has. And I'll start with burrow, as I was saying. And I'm going to aim to try where burrow equals sign. Let's try empty quotes like that. And I'll click select. OK, that did not work. Um, so what I want to try first actually is select just the features with a particular borough. Um, so I'm going to say for the borough, select all unique values. And you'll see these are the possible values. So I'll erase that the single quotes that I had before and double click on the Bronx and click select features. And now you'll see selected on the map are um, the features where burrow equals Bronx. The burrow column equals Bronx. And this has to be completely exact for QGIS to work. <clears throat> if, um, if it was capital B and then lowercase r, o, and x, that will not work. Um, so I can deselect these features using this deselect all button. And back in my select by expression, I can change this to capital B and the lowercase the rest. And when I hit select features, nothing is selected. 
So now I can see also that some features have a null, and the way you select null is a little different. You don't use the equal sign. You say is null. It's a special value. So when I hit select features, you'll see all of those features with a blank in the burrow are now selected. And you'll also see um, if I overlaid these selected features with um, highways in New York, I think you'd find a very um, close overlap. For example, this is the BQE. So if for some reason, the way the data is collected, if it's on a highway, it, the borough field doesn't get set. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but that seems to be the case. So I've selected some features. Just selecting features on their own, maybe not the most useful thing, but now that we have selected features, I can save them to their own layer. So maybe I want them on their own layer um, so that I can do some kind of analysis with them or because I want to style them differently. Um, and I can do that by right-clicking on the layer, going to Export, Save Selected Features As. And for now, I'm going to stick with an Esri shapefile for the format. I'm going to make sure that I click the three dots and pick a place where I can save this. And I'll try to be consistent and call this motor <clears throat> vehicle collisions 2016 null burrow, something like that. And I shouldn't have to change anything else, and I'll hit OK. And you'll see a new layer get added to the map, and you'll see that it um, is overlaid on our other data. The other data is still there, and it's still selected, but I also have this new layer. And this new layer, if I open that attribute table, we should see all the burrow fields are blank. Okay, so now I could style these differently if I wanted to highlight them in some way. and so on. Back in, if I hide that momentarily, if I go back to all of the collisions, open the attribute table, if I wanted to select all of the features where the burrow is not null, I could write an expression for that, or I could invert the selection. There's an invert selection button here and it does what it sounds like. All of the not selected features become selected. All of the selected features become unselected. So then we could save that to its own file and so on. I'll deselect that. And let's write one more expression before we wrap this up. So if I look over here to the right, there are some columns that are numeric. Number of persons injured. So I could say select I'll go back to fields and values, number of persons injured. Um, and when you're talking about numbers, you can use the greater than sign or the less than sign in addition to the equal sign. So I can say number of persons injured greater than zero. So they're one or more, right? And when I select those features, you see that, and I would confirm this look back in the attribute table, I can see that only those features where number of persons injured is greater than zero are selected. And it's really handy in the attribute table. You can see the total number of features, the filtered features, and the selected features. You can see the counts. So 14,000 of those collisions out of 80,000 had some injury. One last thing, now that we've looked at expressions, one last thing is you can filter your layer 
rather than save as a new layer. Sometimes it's helpful to do that. So maybe I just want to see the just the Brooklyn inclusions. I don't want to save as a new file. The way you do that is right click and filter. And this is very similar to that other select by expression uh, dialog, um, but it's a little bit more limited in what you can type in. We're going to stick with burrow equals, and I'm going to find all the values. Burrow equals, uh, I didn't mean Bronx that time, Brooklyn. And I'll hit OK. And you should see just the Brooklyn features are on the map. The features are still there. I didn't change the file. Just in this project, I am only showing certain features. And you can see that it's a little faint here, but you can see that there is a filter on the layer because there's this little um, funnel. And you can go back to filter and view the filter and clear it if you want to. And then it goes back to having all of the data visible. Okay, that's a quick look at attributes, selecting by expression, and filtering with QGIS 3.